Hello and welcome to another video. So we're taking a look at a different deck today for uh, RuneCraft. We've got the Daria Chimera Despondent Hybrid type deck. It was a fairly interesting one. I haven't played Daria for quite a long time, so since we're covering some unlimited decks this week, as we are getting closer to the last month of the expansion where we will be covering more unlimited decks because there isn't going to be much in rotation being changed until the expansion launch I thought why not look at some more interesting and fun decks and Daria is a deck I've always enjoyed and had a lot of fun with you can really mess around with it quite a bit because there are so many different ways you can build a Daria deck at the moment and this one was actually quite fun with Mystic Seer, Despondent Chimera, a double Daria and triple of course Chimera because you can't go wrong with triple Chimera in any kind of spell boost deck you really can run this deck quite well I would normally like to go Blade Mage and Enchanted Sword combos, although I did avoid those in these games that I was playing, mainly just because they didn't come up as optimal plays for me most of the time, but we're going to get right into it and check it out. So our first matchup is against Sword. Sword in Unlimited I don't think is quite as strong as the Sword in Rotation in regards to matchups, just because there are a lot more cards that can deal with Sword pretty well. Although they did give me a fairly good run for my money in this matchup in particular, dragging me right out till the end. As it's not too surprising, Sword has a lot of nice cards. So we go with the Angelic Snipe. Nice way to kick things off. Course, bladed Hedgehog. Not too surprising. Glow's a pretty sweet counter to any two drop that Sword could possibly have put out, and luckily we have it. Plus the double Fate Ten is going to give us plenty of draw power. So there's not too much to be concerned about. Then we have the magic missiles, which while I can only use one right now, getting it on the one two uh, does give us the option to clear that next turn. And Lux really isn't a problem either. Especially since we did draw another glow, which means we can completely remove this board, sending everything back to their hand. Giving us some time. And holding onto the Fate's hands because there's no point wasting them here yet. When we're going to have a draw next turn, and anything we draw we can't play anyway. But Frontline Cavalier, not too big a problem, just a little bit of a pain, as we will have to try and get a way around this without losing anything too major. Fate's Hand into Double Chimera is actually not a bad way to start. And I do decide to go for the Conjure as I don't really have an option. I needed to play something and I needed to free up a hand slot so I didn't overdraw. Luckily for me, this works out fairly nicely as we are going to deal with the 4-5 and one of the 1-2s and only leave them with a 1-2 on board while we built a quite solid board. We also have our Chimeras at 5 already and the Enchanted Swords both boosted down quite reasonably to start with. Although they did go for a Spartacus, which is an interesting one. Not the card I would have expected to see from this Sword player. I'm wondering whether this is a one-off, because it doesn't feel like they're running a full-on discard sword. Definitely feels more like they're going for some kind of mid-sword. And our Mystic Seer is going to do us a really nice job at continually spell boosting our hand. Especially since we get double spell boost this turn, and if we ever get a Daria or something, or we just waste a lot of cards in our hand, being able to refill our hand instantly is always a good value. So Grand Auction, discarding cards, so this is more of the discard engine, this is what I would have expected to see early on, that we just didn't get to see. So it's definitely interesting, Trial of Light, yeah, pretty standard discard card. So from here we're actually reasonably safe. I go for another Mystic Seer, even though I could have went for the Magic Missile, just because I wanted to get that single spell boost off that, and I really just wanted to get it on board as a nice 5 drop, as it does threaten lethal. And actually this ends up being pretty simply our game at this point, I think. Or well, very, very close to it, I mean, with that Despondent really closing this out. We had actually had more than enough damage. I was expecting this one to be a lot closer because I did have a couple of really close sword games while making some videos, but obviously that must be one of the other matches. And our next matchup is against Forest. Forest in Unlimited is extremely strong, Roach Forest being one of the most popular decks. It's pretty hard to beat that. Double Blade Mage and Golem Assault. Doesn't feel like the nicest way to start. But that hand is much better. Despondent Insight Fate's hand, can't go wrong with those three cards as your opener. 
and also an Ogla, which means we're actually getting a really nice standard spell boost set, especially now that we drew Golem Assault off the top, meaning we can actually have a turn 2 play that is actually reasonable. And a Chimera as well, so we're actually getting a really a lot of spell boost out of such simple cards. Unless I get a 1 drop though, we can't take full advantage of next turn. And we do get the Magic Missile, which isn't going to be enough, but I do decide to set up the 3-3. Three, three. I feel like the 3-3 three, three was definitely the better option to go for, as it does block out a reasonable chunk of damage here. And we can always use these Magic Missiles now to clear off this board, set up our Fate's Hand and our Ogla, and really have a nice, secure setup for next turn. As if we really wanted, we could go for the Chimera next turn without any problem, but that's just up to us whether that's the path we want to choose. Because we already got a 0 cost Ogla, 4 cost Ogla, which are both reasonably cheap. A Despondent Chimera would be boosted fairly reasonably at this point, and we just pulled a Daria as well. So being able to go for some pretty huge boosts, not quite enough to get our Chimera to be active now, but that's still pretty good. Considering they are only 1 drops on boards, being able to set up double Ogla for 0 is going to be very hard for us to deal with on a 5, as this does equate to quite a large statted board. So we do see the Brambles be returned. Not the play that I like, but I mean, not every play is going to be good for me. So an Evo will let them reach and kill one of these. So that's fair play. We did get to bait out one Evo, which is good. We can now wipe this board out. Despondent Chimera plus a normal Chimera would be enough to do that. But really we're just setting up a board at this point. I'm getting as much spell boost as we can. Mainly because I want to play that Daria on 6. So having a Chimera at 0, a Daria on 6, we can pretty much get rid of the other 3 cards that we're going to have. Clear out most of a board and be pretty safe. That was the main line of play I was aiming for, which is why we didn't use the Chimera to clear things over the 2-drop, because I really wanted to save on that. Looks like they are going to wipe this board clean, but that does give me a fresh start to play my Chimera and my Daria on, which is not a bad spot to be. I also have a rotation version of this deck that we will be covering in probably a few days from now. I've got a fair few video ideas lined up, and at the moment just working on getting them all done for you guys. So all of these are boosted, keeping the fates at zero, just because that comes in handy to use. Enchanted Swords, pretty low cost right now. That's going to be a huge bonus to us. Greenland kind of sucks though. And we did get the Concentration, so I guess we have those to use if we don't draw anything, which that looks like is going to be the case. So we're just going to spell boost this hand a bit, get some more draws, fill our hand out, boost this thing to eight, and go face. So we are just short on lethal, if this 8 drop dies, which it looks like it probably will thanks to this Harvest Festival. And the Sylvian Justice, not surprising. I mean, when you see a Venus come down, I kind of expected they'd have a way to deal with this 8-8, otherwise they wouldn't have went that route. But it does mean all I need to do is get a Bladed out. Get both out would be nice, but I don't think that's going to be possible unless I drew like a 1 drop spell or something. This way I can just boost things, I can go for one blade, every card in a hand gets boosted once, which should open up lethal next turn pretty easily, provided they don't ward up. Even if they ward up though, I suppose we can clear it with the Chimera, go for a blade and go for an enchanted, so honestly I think we set up the best possible way for us to go for lethal next turn. I don't think I missed lethal in any way last turn, but this turn should definitely be it. A very nice boost, 4 damage, 2 face, 2 kill the Forest Plow. So this is just one of many rotation and unlimited decks that I really enjoy playing. Daria has always been a favourite of mine to play as it is just quite a fun deck and has just flooding wide boards over and over and over again is crazy fun. It's just something that I really couldn't ask any more from Rune for. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did hit the like button and subscribe, you will find the deck list in the description below, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.